And now to Spain for a cultural crossover. To celebrate Chinese National Day, the Museum of Flamenco Dance in Seville will host a very special performance. Rahul Patak has more. This is a performance concept born in China and developed in Europe that embraces the whole world. The Rave Art Cave takes its influence from ancient sites in Dunhuang, a major merchant hub on the Silk Road dating back to 1600 BC. These caves house manuscripts and the earliest printed book from the 5th to 11th century. They were home to literature and a meeting place for different cultures. Fast forward over three and a half thousand years, Chinese curator Xiaoying Zhao has given this a modern twist to include worldwide influences. This production is set for its premiere at the Museum of Flamenco Dance in Seville on Chinese National Day and was put together in less than four months. Yes, yes, that's kind of my original idea is coming from the Dunhuang Cave. And I really want to see what other cave can have this capacity to accommodate all this culture, accommodate all this richness to be happen all, all, all the time, all together. Uh, what, what really helps this whole cross-cultural concept is the surroundings, the low ceilings, the great acoustics. Now, the performances here draw their influences from many different cultures, history and religions. It travels to Asia, where China meets India for an oriental tranquil feel. Then to Africa with earthy spiritual sounds of the Airway ethnic tribe. And finally, a passionate contemporary twist on a Spanish classic, flamenco. To be part of it is kind of uh, contributing to something which already started many years ago uh, with our ancestors. Yeah? in a different places so or geographically in a different continent. Uh, these people were right, already relating with nature and relating with rhythm in a different levels and uh, in a different way with different ontologies. Jiang Zhao is hoping to bring this live event across Europe and beyond. Who knows, maybe it could even return to its origins in the caves on the Silk Road, coming full circle back to Dunhuang in China. Rahul Pathak, CDTN, Seville.